Hey guys, today I'd like to give you a bit of a review on this hoverboard. I'm going to take a different approach than you've probably seen in other videos where people give you the typical unboxing, show you all the stuff that comes with it, and just kind of give you their initial thoughts. I've had this thing for about five months now, and so I'm going to take more of a uh, is it worth it, Do I, would I buy it now type of uh, look at it and hopefully that will help you guys out. I want to start by thanking my parents who are super cool and generous for surprising me with this for my birthday back in January. Uh, thanks guys, appreciate it uh, and everything else you do for us. So this is the 8 inch model and that would be 8 inch wheels and so you can see that the difference so this is the six and a half inch uh, wheel model that you've seen in a lot of videos. Uh, this is the eight, and that's the one I'm going to be talking about today. All right, so uh, you can see it's got that sort of angled deck. Well, not totally angled, but right there anyway. All right, so this thing back when I got it was retailing for probably 320 or 330 something like that. So first impressions after five months. Probably the first thing is that this thing is still really cool and fun to ride. I live on the East Coast and out here you don't see tons of these so if I'm out riding around at a shopping center or in a store or something like that it still turns heads and that's kind of fun. It's held up really well. Aside from minor scratches that I've touched up with some paint here and there, uh, the thing is really done well considering I'm weighing in at about 195 and ride it over uh, various terrain, do you know, kind of slight curb drop-ins or whatever you want to call them, you know, riding off the edge of a curb. It's held up quite well. Even after some bales and rolling over like that, you know, over and over, it's held up well, no cracking or anything like that. A little bit of a scratch here on the light cover, uh, and we'll talk about that in a minute. It's really smooth and kind of solid to ride on. Just runs along real well, takes me up and down hills quite well. Battery life on this thing, really good. I've ridden it well over a mile and a half and it didn't even begin to fade. Uh, didn't even give me a, like a low battery warning or anything like that. This thing will take me up pretty steep hills without struggling too hard and it's just been a real solid kind of workhorse of a board even though I don't use it for anything but kind of playing around. So it's also got a speaker on it that you can sync to over the Bluetooth on your phone and you can play your music. It sounds pretty good and uh, sounds better like on hard surfaces than it does if you're riding out on a rug or something like that. And that's pretty obvious. Uh, decent range from your phone. I would say I've gotten probably 30 to 35 feet range before it drops off and that's pretty good. And you can see that it's got the speaker holes here. Uh, in it on both sides, but I think there's only one speaker in it. And I think these plastic covers are kind of universal, so anyway, that's, that's a pretty cool feature. You'll see the lights later, and they're cool. They're multicolored LEDs that go over the, um, the wheels here, and uh, they flash uh, in unison or one side only, depending on which way you're turning. And that's kind of cool, and I guess if you were riding this like in the uh, city or something like that where you're actually using it for actual transportation, it would be a good way to let other people know which way you're turning, uh, even though they don't initiate until you're actually turning, so maybe not excellent in terms of uh, preliminary warning or advanced warning that you're about to make a turn. So one thing as far as riding it in the house is that uh, you'll notice that these wheels have a little bit of a pattern on them and the edges of them are pretty sharp and if you get up against your baseboards or your walls or anything like that 
it's definitely going to take off some paint and uh, even some wood if you're not careful. And uh, we've done a little bit of baseboard repainting here in the house because of that. So as far as actually riding this thing, if you have a good sense of balance, for instance, if you can skateboard pretty well, if you can snowboard, if you can surf, if you can ski, uh, and probably some other things that are pretty balance intensive that I'm not talking about right now, you can probably ride one of these things. So one thing I want to show you about this, uh, as far as this lights over the wheel design, that maybe isn't the best idea, is if you look at it in comparison to this six and a half inch board, this one's got these like these roll protective strips on it right here, and these really help out a lot because when you bail on these things, they are going to roll. And when you're riding on, uh, you know, asphalt, concrete, or anything like that, when you roll these, uh, if you're on this one, instead of these nice uh, strips taking the abuse, these plastic covers that go over the lights take the abuse. And as you can probably see uh, right there, um, they do scratch or they will, they will get a little hazy or something like that. So in the future, I might be trying to put some kind of protective strip over these, but I'm not sure what it'll be yet. So now I'm going to give you a few tips on riding this thing. I'm going to keep it short. You turn it on by pushing the button right here. When you get on and off of this thing, keep in mind that this board is always trying to keep itself level. So that means that if you want the board to remain still as you get on and off, you've got to try to keep your foot level as you step onto it. So as I get on here, I'm just going to try and stay level. The board's not moving much, and then I'm just going to step up. All right, so once you're on it here, if you want to go forward, you just tip your feet forward, and you go forward. If you want to go backwards, just tip your feet back a little bit. If you want to turn, just you know, kind of angle your feet opposite directions, and it'll turn. Okay, getting off. Probably one of the more challenging aspects of riding this thing for some people. Just like getting on, you want to focus on keeping that foot level and step off. Nothing to it. All right, so now I'll show you how the lights and the different modes work real quick. So lights on and gear button push, lights off. Um, so right now I'm in basic mode, that's how it starts out. If I go into this second mode, I can't really tell any difference in terms of how it rides, it just seems louder. So I never use it in that mode. If I go to the third mode, it tends to be more responsive. It'll, it turns much quicker and it'll accelerate quicker and um, I never really ride it at full speed, but I imagine it goes a little faster too. So in closing, is it worth it? Would I buy it again? As you know, I didn't buy it to start with, but I would say if you're sitting on extra money and you've really been wanting one, go for it. It's super fun. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Also, if you don't want to spend the 300 or whatever this one's selling for, I've seen the six and a half inch model online as of like yesterday for $100 refurbished. And that's a pretty good deal. Those things are a lot of fun. They, they're really comparable in terms of function. And that would be a good way to go if you're on a tighter budget. Thanks for joining us today. I appreciate it. And if you enjoyed the video, throw us a like and feel free to subscribe for more cool content.